What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here. I'm joined by my beautiful wife. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello. So, uh... Knife people. <laughs> Bonjour, bitches. That's right. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we... I Well, I was out on the road for uh, uh, working this week, and I came home uh, to a couple of packages, and we have another package uh, from Spider Co., uh, collector club knives and so they are uh, really cranking them out because just last week I got six in the mail and this box feels pretty heavy as well so I haven't looked uh, kind of intentionally haven't looked to see what was coming uh, so it's going to be a surprise for all of us I looked oh did you so you know what it is no I don't remember that oh. was like four days ago <laughs> okay so anyway, uh, we do have this other package here, and this is coming by way of JB over at Big Red EDC. Uh, by the way, unboxing knife is the uh, awesome Tucson TS273. This is a night morning design. Gorgeous knife. Got this uh, orange G10 inlay. Right Titanium frame lock. Yeah, it, With that it, orange. She's a beaut little uh ceramic ball in the pocket clip there yeah she's a beaut so a good ceramic ball in my yeah nothing nothing wrong clip. with a good ceramic ball all right so let's check out what we got in here oh well i think okay so i'm thinking this is probably going to be a apex pass around knife uh because it's a concept and yeah, let's just get into it. Let's see what we got here. Got the normal, uh, there's a, a little uh, microfiber cloth, paperwork and such in the concept packaging. A little poison for the trolls. And the concept pouch. So, this model here... Uh, Kind of interesting uh we've got black titanium uh, i don't know what this is kind of pvd coating that feels like uh, with marble carbon fiber titanium backspacer and clip Let's give her a oh it's not a flipper just a thumb stud there we go and this is s35 vn says right there uh, this is the warrior Concept I warrior. Am a warrior. <laughs> nice singing there. I haven't warmed what, up. <laughs> you haven't warmed up. Yeah. I should have. I should have prepared you for. Yeah. The warrior uh, soundtrack. Yeah. All right. Let's set this off to the side. What do you think of that? I like it. I think it's cool looking. Well, put your phalanges on it and see what you think. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's comfortable is that yeah you like it i really like the design i think it's a very classy and sleek looking okay yeah so interesting yeah, yeah it certainly uh got a, a large blade here for the the handle size um so that's a positive uh yeah overall looks pretty nice kind of digging the thumb stud action on it's really really nice is it comfy in your hand? Yeah, it's it's a little bit small uh, in yeah. both dimensions for my hand, so it feels like it would twist easily in my hand. Mm. Um, but but yeah, it's it's nice. So we'll uh, we'll be checking that one out for sure. And then we've got this package here, a little uh, package from. Omaha Knife and the Spider Co. Collector Club. Uh, if you guys haven't already, go and check out Omaha Knife. Awesome people over there. and Cute boxer over there. Yep, yep. Izzy, the boxer. She is uh, she the boil. shop dog. All right. So we've got four, it looks like, in the package. Four big boxes. Yep, that's it. All right, so we had six last week, and we have four this week. Uh, let's see what we're working with here. All right, 
So I'm just gonna we're just gonna go from right to left here. And first up, let's see what we've got. If you want to pause and check that out right there. There you go. This is um, a Knifeworks exclusive. And this is the Spyderco Delica 4 in CTS 204P. So... I don't hear those numbers every day. Yeah, it's well, carpenter steel. Uh, mm -hmm. CTS 204P is uh, very similar to uh, 20CV and M390. And yeah, so we've got a, a dark green, like a, a forest green color, like 1990s Eddie Bauer <laughs> green. Right? Uh, 19, For all your carpentry needs. Yeah, 1996 uh, uh, Eddie's Bauer, Eddie Bauer edition green. Uh, so there we Hashtag go. not spons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Okay, let's throw this box. And uh, we will be checking the factory edges on these. So, oh, oh, look at that one. Oh, girl, look at her. She's beautiful. <sighs> All right, so this one is a MGE Wholesale uh, exclusive. This is the Native 5 Lightweight. Oh, with CPM S90V. So, in Tiffany Blue. In Tiffany Blue. Mm, Tiffany Blue. Yeah, that's... Uh, one of Molly's favorite colors here. So I really like the Native 5 Lightweight. It's a great knife. Um, and this one certainly is, uh, you know, if you're a fan of that color, uh, this is a cool one for sure. In S90V. Made here in the States. Golden, Colorado. Huh. That pocket clip looks to be titanium. Uh... I don't think I have in oh yeah I do. Let's see what we got here. Oh nope. Not titanium. It's like it's finished differently than their standard uh there you can see the difference there in the color. Because they know what the ladies like. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I have not seen one finished like this on a on a steel spoon clip. Generally uh, they're more polished. Uh, this has more of a duller looking finish. I mean it looks like titanium. Um, uh, so, huh. Interesting. They so made it there we me. go. It's a collab. It's a, col <laughs> it's a collab. So we got the Delica. Hashtag spawns me. <laughs> the, uh, the native five. Oh, here we go. This looks like another native five lightweight. Uh, this one is. Uh, in Spy 27. Yeah. So, Spy 27 is a new steel. Uh, here is the sp specifics on that steel. Uh, I've been pretty impressed with it so far. It's a pretty cool steel. I think we're going to see a lot of it uh, coming up. And it's, you know, right in line with like S35VN. So, pretty cool. Nice navy. Yeah, nice navy blue handle here in Spy 27. Awesome knife. And this one, it does, it, well, the color is about the same on the two clips, but this one's a little shinier. It's a his and hers set. Is that what it is? One for me, one for you. Well, the hers has the better blade steel. Well, get wrecked. Or, well... <laughs> Better edge retention on get, the S90. Get wrecked. <laughs> That's probably because, you know, us ladies do work. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> because the ladies do work, huh? Yeah. All right. We got this one left. Whoa. Uh-oh. This is a Spyderco Smock. Uh, and I'm not sure... If this is a Sprint or a dealer, oh, it's a dealer exclusive for DLT trading. Uh, there you go. You can uh, pause and read. Pretty cool. Don't know what blade steel it is. 
But let me get this box put away real quick. It is red G10. Very cool. Uh, it's got some really nice texture on the red G10. The button lock. Let's give her a flip. Uh-oh. M390. So definitely an awesome version of the smock here with M390 and red G10. The smock is a really cool knife. Uh, all right. So why don't you come in here and grab a hold of these. What do you think? The, the uh, natives and the uh, uh, Delica are ones that you for sure handled before. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fit. Yeah, it's a, it's a good comfortable knife for sure. The Delica has been around a very long time and green's great you need to position your hand in a I'll better place i'll do what i will i'm not Look. good at it okay trying to help you but you know like don't like don't ever talk to me and my son again <laughs> but like a standard woman you bitch about my trying to help <laughs> yes don't tell me what to do uh -huh. stitch you <laughs> uh-huh I so like you dig that, that one? one? Yeah, because you know why. But this it's also comfortable. Thing. I don't care about that bit. A button? It's a button lock. Button compression lock. So flip it. You don't need to push the button. Just flip it. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay. And I kind of like this. It's kind of long. Like it feels long for yeah. me. But I like how short it is. Yeah. The height way. of yeah. the handle. Yeah. yeah. As well as the blade. Mm hmm. Is that a pin? It's not real. It, no. It's or not really supposed toil. to be. A, I mean, it can be, but it's really. Yeah, this knife's kind of a goofy mm, one. That's weird. Yeah. I... It's really meant. Yeah, put your finger on this if you want to choke up. Oh, gotcha. But, but I don't ever want to do that anyway. So you push the button to close it. It's not very go. drop shot he got. Well, it, <laughs> I know it's got break in and things. Well, no, that's actually not what's going oh. on. This one has a second detent uh, to keep it from being a gravity knife. Mm. Uh, so in here, I've shown it in other videos. If you guys want to check it out, uh, go back and check out my older smock videos. Uh, you can see the mechanics of this knife and what's going on. There is a second detent that just provides uh, resistance against the blade when you have the button pushed uh you can remove the second detent uh so then it is it does just become a a true kind of gravity knife uh when you if you had it tipped down and you push the button uh it will the blade will just fall open uh and vice versa when you have it in this orientation and you push the button the blade just falls uh, so you know it's easy to remove it if you want to uh but for those areas that don't allow gravity knives uh that's why they put it in there all right so let's uh we'll get out the old uh sharpness tester here and see what we're working with uh the concept cry or the concept warrior i am not going to test the sharp i mean we can do it uh but i have no idea uh, I'm sure it's been used, so I don't want that to reflect poorly. Um, but we'll start out. Let's see here. What do we got? We got two of four. Yeah. So out of the out of these four knives, the Spy Twenty Seven is really kind of the well the, the lowest tier blade steel, which is kind of crazy because this is pretty good stuff. So let's check it out and see what we got here for a factory edge. 145 on the spy 27 not bad for those that don't know we're looking for numbers under 200 here um, anything under 350 is shaving arm hair um, so it's uh you know from right out of the box from the factory really anything under 200 is a very very sharp knife 
And what this machine is doing is measuring the grams of force that it takes to cut through this test media, which is like a, a fishing line kind of scenario. But this is, it's called BESS, uh, or it's manufactured by a company called BESS, B-E-S-S, -S, and it's their certified test media. Okay, so we'll go with the S90V next. One seven zero on oh, the S ninety V. I don't want it anymore. So Golden <laughs> Colorado, uh, doing pretty good work there. Uh, both of those coming in under two hundred, which is fantastic. And then uh, the Delica is going to be a Seiki City uh, knife from Seiki City Japan, which is uh, cool. And then this is a this is a Tai Chung knife. All right, we're back in here. Uh, we had FedEx pull in the driveway, and our dogs went completely mental. So I just paused it real quick. Anyway, now we're on to uh, the Delica in CTS 204P. Uh, <clears throat> this is a Seiki City Japan knife. So we got Golden Colorado on these two. We got Seiki City Japan. And we have the Tai Chung factory. So a good representation here of what Spider Co. is putting out these days. Here we go. <clears throat> 145 hmm. on the 204P. So these two are tied. This one was 170. I say this one's going to be 130. Really? Yeah. You're going in hot on the smock, huh? I Thinking am. it's going to be good. I am. Well, the Tai Chung factory is, most people would say that it's Spider Co.'s best factory. Uh huh. And it does the most, uh, the well, all, I don't know. Golden Colorado is coming in strong as well. So, um, Definitely, the the two best factories are you know where the models come from. The higher end models, definitely uh, Golden Colorado and and Tai Chung Taiwan. So this one you can see here, Spider Co M three ninety, and then right there it says Tai Chung Taiwan. So let's see what we're working with here on the M three ninety smock. Gonna say one thirty. Okay. Do I win a prize? Well, I don't know. Do you? What? I don't know. You tell me. Damn, you. I don't know why it does that sometimes. I'm not touching anywhere here. Every once in a Just while. Just building anticipation. Yeah, something. I'm not sure what's going on there, but... All right, here we go. 115. Dang. One, one, five on the smock. So cool knife. Uh, I really like the smock. It's a cool one. It's a great fidget toy. You know, you can thumb flick it. You can spidey flick it. You can do all the stuff. And this is only the third uh, or the second, I guess, variant. So there was the original smock that was black G10 uh, with S30V. There was a knife joy maybe i can't remember but it was smooth black g10 with 20 cv blade steel and now this dlt exclusive with uh red g10 and m390 so really cool knife and we'll throw down check the factory or the the edge on the warrior and see if old jb sent me a dull knife or a sharp one i'm not sure how much he used this thing or if he did at all uh, but we'll just check it out just because we're here. Just for funsies. Yep. It's doing the the whole five gram thing. Mm. 290. So still a sharp knife. Still going to shave arm hair. But uh, like I said, this Probably has most has likely been... Use. Oh yeah, I'm sure it has. So... So that doesn't reflect poorly against concept at all, uh, but it's still still a sharp knife. So there you go, guys. 
Uh, that's what we had for your face balls today. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, we've got lots and lots of spider codes over the last uh, seven days because it was a week ago that I opened up six. So we've gotten ten spider codes in seven days. Please make it stop. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll catch you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye.